and uh, I came in right at the moment that Dr. Michaels was making one of his periodic speeches. He's a complete disaster as a manager. He says all the right things. This seems to be the pattern in government. You know, we have spin doctors, and you hire, you know, you, you appoint people as secretaries or you know, agency heads who are good at making speeches, and they're very sensitive to the constituencies that got them the appointment. You elect them. Hard to know, you didn't elect them. <laughs> But, but you know, I, I think personally, when I look at this, I, I have to ask myself, how did these people get appointed? What's the vetting process that lets a president and his, you know, his advisors make such appointments? Because we've had, in OSHA and in, in the Department of Labor, we've had some really disastrous point, appointments, both coming out of the Bush administration, but also with, with the Obama administration. Not good. Not good at all. And I know I was told by Mr. Devine, who met with Dr. Michaels, he says, you know, he sat there and whined about nobody appreciates what he's done. Well, the bottom line is he's there to exercise leadership. If that leadership isn't there, he's not doing his job. I don't care what his speeches sound like. Right now, this agency is populated with people who are very pro-industry. I've listened to them in, in, in meetings, talk about, oh, you know, uh, that's insubordination, you know. What we really want is we want people who follow orders, whether they're in government or out of government. So it's a very pro-authoritarian pro kind of mentality. There is a complete disregard for the law and the rules. I mean, we actually have some pretty good laws here. And if you actually looked at the whistleblower statutes, and the regulations, they read beautifully. I mean, you, you think, oh my God, we've got this wonderful program, we're going to protect whistleblowers. Wrong. It, you have to get down to the level of who makes the decisions, how the program actually functions. And if these people are intent on frustrating the program, and Mr. Devine and I agree on this point, they are intent on frustrating this program. They're very pro-industry. Just like the NRC has become a captive agency, OSHA has become a captive agency of the major corporations. The little guys, hey, they'll run for the woods. But the big corporations, they're in their pocket, and they know it. And I can hear that when I have to talk to the attorneys for these corporations. They know that they've gotten them in the pocket.